Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video and this is of course another news video looking at Leeds United and things around Leeds United and what's happening. The first thing I have to talk about is of course it's now confirmed that Joe Rodon has signed for Leeds United and Joe Rodon will be playing for Leeds United next season. Now I'm upset that Archie went but if you take the Archie whole thing out of it and you just talk about the signing of Joe Rodon, great signing. For me I think now we have the best defensive partnership in the league with Strauch and Rodon, and that's if Strauch can um, stay fit. Um, and yeah, so Joe Rodon has signed for Leeds United. I'm very happy with his signing. It's sad they had to go with Archie going the other way. But yeah, I think Rodon will be a massive part. And I'm happy that Rodon, you know, Rodon said no. Like Rodon rejected Ipswich, Leicester, and one other club that I can't remember. It might have been Brentford. It, it was Ipswich, Leicester... I think, and someone else. I can't remember, like, off the top of my head, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so Joe Rodham rejected Premier League football to play for Leeds United. That proves that he wants to be here. That proves that he wants to play for this club. Me and he had a great time and enjoyed it on loan last season, and he wants to be here and be part of the team that pushes us to promotion. You know, and I'm very happy with that. So let's get on to the next thing. Next thing we have to talk about is our captain, Liam Cooper. Um, it's expected that Liam Cooper is going to leave, leave Leeds United as and, uh, the club has failed to reach an agreement over a new contract for Liam Cooper. I mean, oh, it's sad. You know, after 10 years at the club, massive servant, massive our captain. You know, when Leeds United, I think he will leave, but when Leeds United released the video, you know, of him saying goodbye, probably going to bring a tear to my eye, you know, and a lot of the Leeds fans will probably bring a little tear to your eye because... I mean, how long he's been here, club captain, leader of this club, legend, you know, love Cooper, but it is the right decision for the club to move on. Like, obviously, it is the right decision. Cooper's not at the level that we want to be at. That's top level, um, top level getting into the Premier League, you know, promotion. I think Cooper, I think Cooper can find a club in the championship easily. I think he's a mid-table championship defender. People might laugh at me when I say that, and people say, oh, Cooper shit, Cooper shit, League One, League One quality. He's a mid-table championship defender. He can do a job for a mid-table championship team. You know, Middlesbrough, even like a Middlesbrough, you know, I think he could do a decent job at Middlesbrough or like a someone down there. Actually, maybe Middlesbrough not, might not be the option because I think they're going to be like pushing for um playoffs. But like a team like mid-table that's not going to do much, but they're no fear of relegation, just a team in the middle of the table, basically, I think he could sign for or lower. Um, Yeah, so it's going to be sad to see Liam Cooper go, and I think he will leave. But yeah, that's about it on Liam Cooper. Now, next news is about Glenn Kamara and Leeds United aim to keep Glenn Kamara despite um, Wren's? Wren's? Yeah, Wren's interest. So Wren's tried to come in for Kamara and wanted to speak about signing Kamara. We basically said, basically, what we have said is um he's not for sale. We don't want to sell him. We want to keep him, and Glenn Kamara is going to stay at Leeds United. Um, <clears throat> They're determined to keep him. Leeds United are very determined to keep Kamara at the club next season. You know, maybe this is all a bluff, you know, for another club to come in that's going to spend a lot of money. I mean, I'm fine. With, I'm like, I like Kamara. I think he's a good player. Just if someone doesn't come in for a lot of money, you know, if, if, if there's a, every club has a, you know, every player has a price. If someone comes in and says, oh, we'll give you 25 million for Kamara, yeah, snap their hands off. 20 million for Kamara, maybe even snap your hands off, you know. Um, but yeah, the goal is to keep Glenn Kamara, it looks like. Um, and Leeds United do want to keep him. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to read on and just see if there's other things. Um, you know, <clears throat> Glenn Gru Gruev was also linked with a move away from the club as well. Um, but those rumours seem to have kind of slowed down and they're not, I don't think they'll happen. I think we're going to keep both Glenn Kamara and Gruev. And I think what we're going to do this season with Glenn Kamara and Gruev is they're going to be like the same DM, if you know what I mean. They're going to play next to Ampadu and you're going to have. Glenn Kamara might play one game. If he's not on it, you know, you bring in Grev, and they're going to be, like, switching, basically, uh, throughout the season, in my opinion. That's what I think will happen. They'll switch a couple of times throughout the season, I reckon, between, like, he's not in form, Grev starts, Grev's not in form, Kamara starts, or injuries as well. So I do think they're going to switch between each other a couple of times this season. I could see them switching back and forth about two, three times this season. That's the thing I can see. Um... And, of course, the big news, the big news that we have to leave for last is Leeds United have rejected a $30 million offer from for Jorginho Rata from Brighton. So Brighton came in and tried to get Jorginho Rata for $30 million, and Leeds United don't know, you know, which is fair, um, because Brighton are also looking at Somerville. That's another thing. Brighton are also looking at Somerville, and PSG are looking at Somerville as well. That's another thing I forgot I didn't talk about. 
PSG are looking at Somerville as well. You know, if he, we can get a good price from, you know, I think, because I do think Somerville will leave. Like, without a doubt, I do think Somerville will leave. Let's just, but if let's not try and just, you know, get him out, get him out. You know, once the first big offer comes in, you know, we're going to stand our ground and see how much we can get and the most we can get. Um, I, th I can see Somerville not leaving until near the end of the window. That's something I can also see. I could see us not letting some of it all go and just waiting the days out towards the end of the transfer window, just waiting the days out. And when it gets close enough to the end, we just take the biggest offer and go, okay, you go. Um, and I, but I can say I think some of it will leave, but I could see that happening. But I could see some of it leaving, you know, tomorrow. <laughs> but that's another thing I could see, you know, a massive offer comes in, bang, some of it's gone tomorrow. But some of it, in my opinion, 100% will leave before the start of the season. I just don't see him being a Legion United player next season. Back on to Jorginho Rata. Um, I only talked about that because Brighton also came in for some of That's the only reason I talked about her. Jorginho Rata, we have rejected thirty million from Brighton, which is fair. I mean, we spent, we paid thirty-five million for him, did we? I think, yeah, we did, right? Yeah, we spent thirty-five million on Rata. So why would we sell him for thirty? And I'm happy that I'm happy that the club's like this, and the club's going to stick with it. For me. In my opinion, if we do sell Rutter, which I don't think we will, I think he's one of the. I think he's one of the main players. We're like, no, we're keeping no matter what, unless an offer of like maybe a 50, 45 to fifty million plus comes in, then you could see him going. I don't think if someone comes in for forty mil, uh, we should not take that. In my opinion, I think if it's forty five or above, forty five or above, you can question it up to fifty, but it's above fifty. Yes, take it. I think we will. Um, but yeah, I'm very I'm happy that he's staying and I'm very happy at the moment that the club's standing, you know, 30 million. A lot of clubs, you know, including our previous owners would go, oh, 30 million. Yeah, let's take it quick. You know, but I'm happy that what we're doing and I do think Rutter is one of the probably the biggest key player to keep that I think we will keep. Um, yeah, that's basically all the news for today. If you guys like the video, make sure to like you comment. And subscribe if you're new, and let me know down in the comment section down below anything you, you guys think about with these transfers. Let me know anything about other things I didn't talk about even. You know, there's a couple of things, maybe like the striker situation of, um, it looks like we might be selling one of them, whether that's Piero or Bamford. Um, we also have Charlie Creswell. Will he leave by the end of the season? Because I could, I, I could, before the start of the season, sorry, I could see him leave, leaving before the end of the transfer window, before the start of the season. I think that could... Make most likely happen. Um, but yeah, so let me know and I'll catch you boys next time. Peace.